and then friends of us um, hooked us up with Ducks and Dragon, and they are fabulous. The baguettes they they do, they really taste like bread. The pizza bread we get from that is absolutely fabulous. Um, it's like real bread, real baguettes. We have cheese rolls, and here we're cheating because we're not supposed to be eating cheese, but the cheese rolls are so addictive. We absolutely love it. They have bagels that really taste like bagels, so it's the real deal. Um, plus, he is so nice. He's one of the nicest guys I know. So we slap back from San Francisco to San Mateo like every three weeks, and then we fill our freezers and breads and baguettes. And I like ducks and dragons because I can't eat regular processed grains because I'm a, a adult onset diabetic, uh, and his stuff is absolutely delicious. He doesn't have any preservatives in it, so it only lasts a week. So I have to keep coming back whenever I want more. Uh, and whatever you do, please don't come to the College of San Mateo Farmer's Market and pick up all the stuff because we want to especially stay away from the chocolate muffins, please. I find this bread more tasty than something that I could find in the grocery store, but the fact that it's, you know, gluten-free um, and made locally just makes it all the better. I'm happy to support. They have the best uh, chocolate rolls, the best banana bread, the best strawberry banana bread. I think we actually have both. It's really, it's hard to like find. It really is hard to find delicious gluten-free bread. You know that you can toast sure. and it yeah. gives that same reminiscence. Uh, you can't even tell it's gluten-free. Found out six or eight months ago that that uh, gluten's just not working for me and. It's been like five years of feeling really bad, and now it feels great. I can eat bread, and and he's 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 an amazing cook. And many of the things he makes are are really good. Where most of the gluten free out there on the market really is not. It's, it's lousy. It tastes it's really grainy. He really tries to make things taste good. And I'd say that my favorite things are his sandwich loaf. And his cheese rolls. Cheese rolls are really good. And then he makes like an herb love roll that's also very good, kind of a Middle Eastern roll. It's, it's good. So. Uh, we feel better if we eat less gluten and less carbs in our lives. Um, and one of the problems with that, obviously, is bread. Bread is delicious, uh, but bread normally has lots and lots of gluten in it. But um, the nice thing about Venus bread is that it doesn't taste like it's gluten free. Sometimes gluten free bread you buy can taste like sawdust that has kind of just been crushed together. Venus bread tastes nothing like it. In fact, it tastes better than regular bread. Uh, I have been trying to follow the paleo um, diet for the better part of two years. And so trying to find um, uh, basically baked goods uh, that meet that requirement grain free, wheat free, um, dairy free has always been very hard unless you make it yourself. So having someone here who follows those same practices and also makes very tasty food um, is, is, is very, is, is great. So that's why I come.